Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, so i one it's me, Stuart, today I've decided to make another book review. Here, I have this book, written by Ruth Dahl, and the name is The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Ruth Dahl writes other books, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Glass Elevator, Danny the World Champion, George and the Marvelous Medicine, the Twits, James and the Giant Peach, and many more. The story starts when... Ha so this is an assortment of stories. There are many, many stories here. But there's one story that is really interesting. The name is The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Just the same as the title. Henry Sugar was a rich man. He was really, really rich and wanted to get even richer by betting on things. Like betting on tortoise races, betting on where the dog will go first, what will it touch first. A lot of things. The rich always try to get richer. It was weird for him. But for other people, it was weird. But for him, it wasn't weird. Because everybody knows that they always want to get richer. One day, he wanted to play canastas with his friends. But there were five people, so he decided to take lots. Who took the lowest card of all, go off the game. Everybody took lots, that is except Henry. He drew a three diamonds, the smallest and luckiest card. He decided, hmm, why shouldn't I find a way where I can get, where I can possibly win without even needing to try, he thought. Well, so he went to the, so he jogged all around the ho house, and then he went to the library. In the library, he found a small blue exercise book. He opened it. It was written by Dr. Marshall Sugar, his grandfather. What would you do if you found out in a library that your grandfather's book was written, published, and was such a famous book? Write down in the comments below, please. Back to the story. He thought, well, this is pretty interesting. I think I want to read it, he said. So he flipped open the book, and to his amazement, it was not what he thought it was. It was a report. And the title was The Man Who Could See Without Eyes. He said, Hmm, this is interesting. Hmm. I think I'll read it. He was so engrossed in his book that even when his friend called him friends call him, he didn't listen. Every day he will read it. And here's how the story went. The doctors were resting in the doc in the resting room. It was a room forbidden for anyone except the doctors to go in. There is except for nurses, of course. No other people person were allowed to go in. Doctor Marshall and his assistants we're getting prepared for an op another operation. It was a long busy night for them. They thought, Phew, it's really tiring. But suddenly, they heard something. <laughs> Dr. Marshall! Dr. Marshall, someone was calling. Dr. Marshall said, Come in, come in, come on, come in! Where come in? You don't need to be standing there out in the cold," he said. 
in became an Indian. This Indian introduced himself. His name was Imrat Khan, and he had the power to see with his eyes closed. So the doctors cover his eyes like this, and then after that they would point out fingers, and then the game was set. That Indian we need to know <clears throat> how many fingers were open. Because he told him that he could see without eyes, so he started to test him. The doctors covered his eyes and hold up seven fingers. He said, How many fingers are these? Seven, doctor. He said. Then he clenched both fists and asked again, How many how many fingers above? And he said, Nothing, doctor. No fingers are left. Yet. Hmm, impressive, said Dr. Marshall. He clenched his fists again and said, How many fingers are they, Imran Khan? And Imran Khan said, Nothing, doctor. Wow, the doctor was really impressed. He thought, Well, 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 this is really interesting. What kind of trick do you use? Imran Khan said, No, it's not any kind of trick, doctor. I have found the power to see without my eyes because I've been training for 30 years. Doctor said, What? 30 years? I mean, look, you're only 40. How can you. How? Don't tell me you practice when you're 10. Imran Khan said, Yes, Dr. Marshall, that's very true. I've been practicing for almost my entire life. He said. The doctors were shocked. They thought, wow, this man has been training hard. There really must be some trick to it, he thought. Well, doctor, mm, I shall need to go. But first, can I ask you for a teeny tiny small favor? He said. Let's see. Sure. It's pretty impressive. Any other trick you want to show us? And we're going to say, Yep, doctor. He asked them to bandage his forehead and his eyes, but lift his nose, of course, for, his, for breathing. He said, can you please put like some dough on my eyelids? Well, of course, uh, let me shut my eyelids first. When my, my, my eyes are closed, please mm, put some dough and please bandage it really, really tight. But of course, please leave my nose free for breathing. Doctor said, sure, of course. One hour later, he had been finished bandaging his whole forehead. Now he looked like a mummy, a mummy that had only been bandaged partially on his head. Hmm, doctor said. So what are you gonna do with all this bandages on your forehead? He said. I'm going to show you one very fun thing. A knife was coming soon in this way. The troll, the foot trolley. This was Imran Khan, but Imran cut Khan just stepped forward, and the foot trolley passed behind him. The native that was pushing the foot trolley was shocked. He thought, "Wow, is this man a ghost or what?" He thought. Some pe he was some people going up the corridor. And when Imran Khan was going down, he hurried. How was this man walking around with that so much bandages on his forehead? He thought. Well, he said. This is interesting, everybody thought. But in front, he had a bike with a signpost. Look at me, the man of the sea without eyes. Please join at circus. At the circus tonight at 8 p.m. to see me perform, he said. Everybody was shocked. Wow, 
This man is wonderful. Then hang sure, close the book, and start the prophecy. I'll suggest that this book is for ages 10 and above because this requires very deep understanding. Please subscribe, like, and press the notifications bell. Thanks for watching.